Well, everyone, as most of you know, iOS 18 is going to be coming out very, very soon. And it's going to be that next big update that we're probably going to be getting on these devices. And it's pretty crazy because me personally, I love these you know, phones and the iPhone 11 is going to be a very interesting device because this is going to be one of those devices that's going to be getting this version of software. Now, the thing to keep in mind with the iPhone 11 is that this is set to be probably one of the bigger versions of updates for these types of devices. And if you're going to go through and get something like an iPhone 11, is it going to be getting iOS 18? Is it going to be sustaining these updates? We're going to take a look at that throughout this whole entire video. Now, first of all, if you're in the market and if you're planning on buying something like an iPhone 11, keep in mind that this particular device, like I said, there's a very high likelihood this particular device could end up getting that next version of software. But there's also like a 50-50 chance where it may not. And I'm going to be honest, I'm pretty sure it will. I think there's a very, very high likelihood these types of devices will continue on and get the next version of software here and there. But I want to let you guys know that there may be a chance where that doesn't happen. And I would hate for you to go ahead and get a device like this if we're basically, you know, in that situation. So that right there is just kind of one thing to keep in mind. Beyond that though, with all the leaks and rumors that we've seen about iOS 18, all basically everything I've seen so far is basically alluding to the fact that this particular device, you know, could end up getting this version of software, which would be amazing. And if it gets it, that's going to be very, very cool. The thing with the iPhone 11, you know, with this particular device is that this particular phone is still going to be maintaining a lot of different cool things within it. But the thing I've seen is that, you know, Apple is really focusing in on their AI endeavors. And it looks like Apple's going to be really kind of growing out their AI side of things on these particular devices. And they're going to want to just focus in on AI and AI on iOS 18, I'm pretty sure, for this whole entire thing. Which can be kind of an annoying thing because because the iPhone 11 is a, you know significantly older, I'm wondering what type of features would end up coming on this particular iPhone. Like, is Apple going to sustain and maintain all the features on iOS 18 or all the AI features on the iPhone 11? Which makes me think that this year could end up being one of those years that Apple makes significant differences between the lower end versions of iOS 18 and the higher end versions. There was a rumor stated that the iPhone 15 Pros may be the only iPhones on this for like that gets the AI features. If that ends up being the case, well, that's going to be a significant amount of devices that are basically going to be removed in terms of getting those AI features, which personally for me is definitely going to be a very, very sad thing. And I really hope that doesn't end up being the case, but that could end up being the case. You know, that's something Apple's done many, many times before. So in terms of that, that's kind of what we could expect to see within the iOS 18 update for the iPhone 11. I'm pretty sure it's going to get it, but it may not be this big ginormous update that this phone is going to be getting in terms of software updates. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, hold on.